Hey guys, it's Damien here. I finally finished the resin 3D printed RC helicopter. The finished result, as nice as it looks, it ended up being quite a hassle to put together and ridiculously heavy. I'm still going to fly this for you guys, but let me go through some of the obstacle courses I actually had to jump through to get this to be put together. So first things first, even though it looks this nice, well, the tolerances weren't as perfect as I was hoping for it, but that was due to me not thinking through the tolerances of a resin printed part on top of a painted finish on it. So the first thing I worked with was taking apart my nylon helicopter, taking off all the screws on the nylon uh, setup because that was also from PCBWA and putting it onto this helicopter. So that was easy and then I started working on taking out my two bearings for my bearing block and added that to the resin printed bearing block. Well, the tolerances on that were quite tight. So after finally setting those in, which was quite a challenge. So one of the items I actually noticed prior to putting in the resin printed bearing block was the holes were quite thin, but that was because I took the risk of a very thin wall thickness. So I started to put in the actual servos and the second I put in the second servo, one of the top portions of the bearing block that holds the, that I screw into to hold the servo actually ended up breaking off. So it was quite a challenge to eventually take out the bearings um, out of the bearing block. So. After that, I made sure I had a backup PET G resin, or I'm sorry, PET G printed bearing block just in case if something were to go wrong. Because when I put, when I was trying to fit that in, I ended up breaking my backup bearing block, which was not fun. So I had to take apart everything and put on the third bearing block that I put in. I realized that the fit check going into the airframe itself was also super tight. So I ended up filing down the bearing block just to get it to fit into the airframe. Like I had mentioned before, my fault due to tolerance checks when getting this ordered. So I finally started to try to work on putting the landing skids together. In, I started working on assembling the landing skids to the airframe and realized, well, those tolerances were also off. So I actually ended up working on sanding each of the outer edges of the landing skids to fit this into the airframe because I didn't want to break any more parts and I was quite worried myself. Once that was done, I, I fed the tail motor wires through the tail boom and right as I was about to put in the tail boom into the airframe, Sure enough, the tail boom did not fit nowhere near to what I was expecting as far as being able to completely fit it into the tail boom block that's printed into a part that's a part of the airframe. So what you'll see is me actually filing down a huge amount, I would say maybe a millimeter or two uh, along the outer edges of the tail boom just to get the tail boom to fit into the airframe. So that was quite long, not expected. And this, this airframe that's printed in resin in Somos Perform is so strong that the first time I actually ended up assembling the tail boom itself, the first screw that I screwed into here actually ended up deforming. It completely bent. So I, thankfully I took it out and before you know it, right as I was about to put the first screw in and it was about to strip, I tried to uh, pull it back out and found out that the screw had broke off and sure enough that actually ended up happening on both screws. So right now there's no way in chance I could get those two screws out, but we will still test this for you guys because it's the screws are far enough in there that I, I'm not too worried about it. And yeah, like I mentioned, it was quite a challenge. And then the last challenge that I actually ended up having, which is still a fairly tight fit, 
is the battery fitting into the battery compartment. I was barely able to put this battery in and as mentioned before, due to tolerancing, I didn't really realize how much of an impact that would be as far as resin printing and then matte finishing or making them paint the airframe itself. So I actually ended up having to file down the internal air, the, the top and bottom of the battery compartment quite a decent amount or as best as I could to fit in the battery. So all that being said, it looks phenomenal. It is fairly heavy as I mentioned before and I will definitely be using my original blades because those are definitely stronger. I'm more confident that this these blades will be able to handle this weight. You don't want to be flying this helicopter with this much weight, but because I want to fully complete this project, we're going to take it outside for a test flight just to see how it performs. And yeah, let's, let's go take it outside and see how it flies. All right, we're out in the field with the resin 3D printed helicopter. It's gonna look phenomenal when flying it. I'm uh, very curious on just the weight of this thing because it is 350 grams, which a 200 size helicopter should never get to this weight. And that wasn't even including the battery. So it's even heavier than 350 grams. But like I said before, I will test fly it even though uh, there's a few things that screws. <laughs> head uh screw heads broke off but uh, on the tail block but it is what it is running original blades just so that the resin the resin printed blades do not break on me so i'm sure the blades will handle it i'm assuming the motor might get warm but you know what let's just get to it and see how it flies
So this thing is, like I said, an absolute tank. It definitely flew heavy. There were times where I was actually low to the grass and I went all the way negative throttle as much as I could. But I did forget that the last time I actually set this thing up with the resin printed blades, I actually had 60% throttle and I forgot to bump that up on this flight. So that's probably why it felt so sluggish. If I increased the throttle it, or the throttle curve, it would have improved the flight, but it flies. Um, super happy with it, but yes, it is very visible. If you guys want something resin printed and colored like this with a the custom color setup that I had, check out PCB Way. I have a referral link down below. And if, like I said before, if you guys like this type of content, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next time.